You're listening to KPSU and What's This Called? And this is Victrola. And the reason I love subbing for Jim is that you never know what you're going to get on this show, but it's always fascinating. That was beautiful. So our guests today are Megan Mulhern and Elisa Ferris, both from Asheville, North Carolina. Megan is a songwriter and violinist. Uh, she performs with an array of musical projects, including U.S. Christmas, Judas Horse, Enoch, Lunar Creature, and Megan's. And her solo project is Divine Circles. She released an album with um, another Asheville artist named Villages, uh, which is sort of two sides of the same coin kind of a thing, Ross Gentry, uh, fe featuring organic instrumental music. And Elisa Ferris uh, teaches at the Asheville Music School in Asheville, North Carolina. She received her uh, Bachelor's of Fine Arts in Music from University of North Carolina and has a background in opera, early music, art songs, 20th century, and composition. Can they? Oh, do you guys just want to come in? Okay. Let's pop you on a on a microphone here and. Sounds official. I'm a bachelor of arts. Oh, yes. <laughs> Welcome to KPSU. It's it's wonderful to have you both here. What was the name of the track we just listened to, or just the piece that you put performed? Well, um, that was something uh, that we're kind of been working on this whole. Scoot up. Scoot up to this one. Yeah. There you go. Uh, that was something we've kind of been working on uh, various pieces of throughout this entire trip we've been taking. Mm -hmm. We've been collaborating a lot. Um, we're going to put out a collaborative album. So we're kind of just working out some ideas and some inspiration, and we're doing it usually live in front of people. So. That was wonderful. And and this is Megan, Megan that has just uh, spoken. And you are the violinist. And yes other things but other things. primarily <laughs> violinist tell me a little bit about your violin background well I was um, you know I played in the orchestra mm -hmm. and you know started um, when I was about seven and the violin I play right now for for most of my uh, projects is the violin I've been playing since I was seven okay so it has a you know I it has all it. that energy soaked into exactly. it exactly yeah and um, and then I kind of veered off um, Fairly soon, um, I, I realized that I wanted to really make my own music and, and be more of a composer. Mm -hmm. And that was really where I wanted to go with it. I also realized that the violin's got a lot of, um, it's got a lot of potential. You know, it's, I use it as a vocal resonator. I use it, it's fretless. Uh, there's a lot of things you can do to... Uh, yes, I love some of that tapping technique that you do and... All that sort of thing. And I know the phone is ringing, and I promise I will answer it shortly. Oh, they hung <laughs> up. Okay. Well, yeah. call back when they're t when they're playing, and I will be more than happy to speak with you. <laughs> but, yes, some of the, the plucking, and I noticed you were tapping and doing things with the bow. And I couldn't see it a whole lot, but I could hear what you were doing. So, Elisa, let's have Elisa Ferris step up here. Um, Elisa, you teach at the Asheville Music School, and you've been performing since the age of eight. Um, how did the two of you get together? Well, um, we uh, have kind of known each other or known of each other in Asheville for a long time. But really, we just started playing music together uh, in the past year and a half, I believe. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and we just started playing together and we just decided to start touring together. So, And now we're going to... Um, do an album together very soon. Wonderful. So. And what is your vocal range? I noticed you were doing all that, that really high, beautiful, <laughs> ethereal uh, vocal, vocal stylings, whatever. Um, yeah. what is your, do you mind me asking what no, your vocal range no, no, is? No, no, no. I'm a soprano, and mm -hmm. uh, I used to sing opera and mm -hmm. have a little color tora in my voice, and that allows me to kind of slip in and out of notes, really high notes, really fast. Do you get those real high extensions? Up there? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, that was lovely. That was oh, absolutely beautiful. I have named that on our website. We have to put everything on the website. Okay. So I named what you did uh, improv pieces. Mm -hmm. If you want me to change that, I'll be happy to do it. Oh, that's, a, that's okay. Um, I just wanted to mention we're actually playing tonight in Portland. and. Yes. Uh, and um, at the Vagrant Eye Projection Museum Gallery at 53 Southeast 80th in Portland, their phone number is 310 
621-5614. What time are you guys going on? Ish. Around 8. Okay. And um, you are also going to be playing in Eugene, Oregon on the 18th at the Wandering Goat. Also, August 22nd at Louis G's in Tacoma, Washington. August 24th at the Highline in Seattle, Washington. And you both have uh, Bandcamp.com uh, sites. Yes, we have. We both have uh, Bandcamp sites. Um, Megan's is under Divine Circles. And uh, mine is just under my name, Elisa Ferris. And, um, and we also have SoundCloud pages as well. Yes, you do. I did see that, and I didn't. I didn't put that down in my sheet here. But, um, and we also have Tumblr pages. So we have about everybody. Everything. <laughs> everybody has a Tumblr page now. Uh-huh. Um, and I'm going to have a, a record out really soon. Right. Um, yeah, and it's it's coming out. Uh, actually, the vinyl is being shipped to Portland, and I will have some copies. So, um, if anybody wants a copy, just. Go maybe on one of my sites and let me know. And and you uh, both you're both releasing things on vinyl. Yes, your your um, villages and divine circles was also on vinyl. Uh, that was, Megan, that was actually that was actually on tape. Oh, on that tape. Was, yeah, even, that was on tape. Even more retro. Nice. Yeah, and that, but I do have a vinyl that I actually only have three copies left of in the U.S. It's a British label, so nice. Um, um, you can get it from me, but it's sold out on my Bandcamp. All my all my copies are gone, and all my cop almost all my copies that I brought with me are gone as well. But ch- um, but you can listen to it on the Bandcamp site. You can't listen to it on Bandcamp. It's okay. actually streaming over at AV Club at the moment. Okay. And I'm thinking that we're, you know, six or seven months out from the release, so we can maybe do a, we might be able to do some kind of digital thing soon. But I just have to mm-hmm. kind of check with the label. But Inherent Records does have about eight copies of it, and Inherent, Inherent Records, Records. Okay. is my distributor in the U.S. Great. So. Is there anything else you two would like to add before you jump back on the thing and make beautiful sounds? I really like Portland a lot. <laughs> That's Great. basically been my whole experience here. Is everybody seems really friendly, and it's kind of like Asheville, but a lot bigger. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Lisa, you want to add anything? Um, I want to thank uh, Ricardo Wang for letting us be on his radio show. Yes, and the mighty Ricardo. We bow down to him. Yes, He's and awesome. thank you, thank you to you for oh, sure. interviewing us, and and thanks to Austin and and everyone. Oh, Austin's here. great. He's very solid, and and Ryan's over there filming, and mm-hmm. yeah, it's always fun to come down and sit in on Jim's show. It's it's really a lot of fun. So thank you both. Um, we're going to announce once again they are here tonight in Portland, Oregon. Vagrant Eye Projection Music Gallery, 53 Southeast 80th. They're going on about 8, so you have plenty of time to get there if you're planning to do it. Can I add one thing? Of we have a friend that moved here from Asheville, Megan McKissick, and I believe she may have a video, some sort of projection or video installation going on at the gallery there, but she will be... Uh, doing live projections for us tonight and she's incredible so we we get an added bonus tonight to our show so it's going to be a visual experience as well mm-hmm. awesome Definitely. so what are you going to play for us now well i think we're all i think maybe we'll just both play a song um okay each. or a couple a couple and uh you know and we'll great <laughs> so this is what's this called on kpsu go ahead and uh you're listening to Elisa Ferris and Megan Mulhern, and they are going to be here tonight again at Vagrant Eye Projection Music Gallery, 53 Southeast 80th in Portland, Oregon, and they're going to play some more for us here on What's This Called? Austin, you ready in there? I am. Okay. All right. 